Have you ever wondered how debt can actually make you richer? Sounds paradoxical, doesn't it? Today, we're delving into an intriguing concept, turning debt into wealth. This journey isn't just about numbers, it's about strategic thinking and bold decisions. Welcome to Wealth Using Debt, where we unravel the secrets of using borrowed money to build fortunes. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay connected for more content that can transform your financial perspective. Ready to challenge conventional financial wisdom? Then now let's dive in. Strategy 1. Debt for Business Investments – Elon Musk Imagine Elon Musk, a name synonymous with innovation. But this genius isn't just inventing, it's in a strategic use of debt. Musk's ventures, Tesla and SpaceX, aren't just products of groundbreaking ideas, but also of well-leveraged loans and credit facilities. How did he do it? Musk's approach involved using debt to fund research and development crucial to his cutting-edge projects. This method turned potential financial liabilities into assets driving growth. The essential lesson for Musk's strategy is clear. Debt, when used with precision, becomes an investment in the future, not a burden. But it's vital to understand the difference between reckless and strategic borrowing. Strategy 2. Debt for Real Estate Investments – Robert Kiyosaki Robert Kiyosaki's journey in real estate is a master class in using debt strategically. His philosophy? Leverage debts to amplify your real estate investment. Kiyosaki began with a modest property and grew into a real estate mogul. His strategy involved using loans to acquire property that generate continuous rental income. This approach isn't just about possession, it's about creating an ongoing income flow. Kiyosaki's success hinges on understanding good debt, which are loans that help acquire assets generating income. This tactic allowed him to expand his portfolio without exhausting his own funds. Strategy 3 – Debt for Education and Skills – Oprah Winfrey Oprah Winfrey's story is a powerful example of investing in oneself. Faced with financial constraints, she strategically used her limited resources to fund her education. This decision led to the foundation of her extraordinary career. Winfrey's story emphasizes the significance of education as an investment that yields high returns. In cases where personal funds were insufficient, educational loans became a tool for unlocking potential. These loans can enable access to education and training, which open doors to better career opportunities and higher earning potential. This strategy is about seeing beyond the immediate cost of education to the long-term benefits of enhanced skills and knowledge. Strategy 4. Debt Consolidation – Warren Buffett Warren Buffett, renowned for his financial acumen, advocates a key debt management strategy, consolidation. This approach involves combining several high-interest debts into one loan with a lower interest rate. What's the benefit? It simplifies your financial obligations and reduces the total interest you pay over time. This strategy isn't merely about easing the debt burden. It's a strategic move towards more efficient financial management. By consolidating debt, individuals can focus on a single repayment plan, potentially with better terms, freeing up resources that can be redirected towards savings or investments. Number 5. Strategy 5. Leveraging Low Interest Debt – Bill Gates In the early stages of Microsoft, Bill Gates employed a strategy that few can master – leveraging low interest debt. This approach wasn't about indiscriminate borrowing. It was a calculated move to fund growth opportunities. Gates used these low-interest loans to invest in critical areas of his business, allowing Microsoft to expand without the crippling effects of high-interest financial obligations. This strategy illustrates the importance of choosing your debt instruments carefully. Low-interest loans can provide the necessary capital for growth while maintaining financial sustainability. Gates' example teaches us that with the right debt, managed wisely, you can support your business's growth ambitions without overburdening it financially. Strategy 6. Debt for Asset Acquisition – Larry Ellison Let's turn our attention to Larry Ellison, the mastermind behind Oracle. His approach goes beyond mere survival skills. It's about using debt for strategic conquests. Ellison harnessed the power of debt to acquire pivotal technologies and companies. This wasn't a desperate grab for resources, 
but a calculated move to position Oracle as the leader in the tech industry. By utilizing loans, Ellison expanded Oracle's capabilities and market presence. He understood that debt, when used for acquiring assets, can be a transformative tool. It's about seeing debt as an opportunity to invest in your company's future, propelling it from a player to a leader in the industry. Strategy 7. Credit Card Rewards Maximization – Richard Branson Consider Richard Branson a business magnate known for his daring ventures. But it's not just about the grand ventures, it's also about optimizing the small things like credit card rewards. Branson mastered the art of using credit card points to benefit his businesses. This strategy involves more than just accruing points. It's about strategically using them to offset business expenses or fund new ventures. Branson's approach shows us that even everyday financial tools, when used cleverly, can contribute significantly to business growth. Strategy 8. Angel Investing Through Debt – Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, provides an insightful example of using debt for angel investing. His early investment in Google, financed through debt, is a lesson in spotting potential and acting swiftly. Angel investing, especially through debt, is high risk but can offer high rewards. Bezos' move to invest in Google in its nascent stage demonstrated foresight and a willingness to take calculated risks. This strategy requires an acute sense of market potential and the courage to invest in the early stages of a company. Strategy 9. Leveraging Debt for Stock Investments – Carlos Slim Carlos Slim, a prominent business magnate, exemplifies the strategic use of debt in stock investments. His approach involves identifying stocks that are undervalued and investing in them through borrowed funds. This tactic requires not just an understanding of the stock market, but also a bold approach to investing. Slim's strategy highlights the potential of using debt to capitalize on market opportunities. The key lies in recognizing undervalued stocks and having the conviction to invest in them. Slim's success in this arena demonstrates how well-executed debt-financed investments in the stock market can lead to substantial wealth accumulation. Strategy 10. Debt for Diversification – Jack Ma Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba, illustrates the strategic use of debt for diversification. Ma didn't limit his focus to Alibaba. He used borrowed funds to invest across a variety of sectors. This approach isn't just about spreading risk. It's about seizing diverse opportunities to maximize potential returns. By diversifying his investments through debt, Ma created a balanced and resilient portfolio. This strategy demonstrates how debt can be employed not just for growth in a single area, but for building a diverse set of investments. Each of these strategies demonstrates the intricate yet rewarding relationship between debt and wealth creation. But remember, this path requires careful planning and informed decisions. Always assess your financial situation and, if possible, consult with financial experts. We hope this journey into wealth using debt has opened your eyes to new financial possibilities. Share your thoughts in the comments down below, seek personalized advice from financial advisors, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into financial freedom.